In parts one and two of the Stack Compiler tutorial video series, we learned how to create a custom table. In part three, we are going to visualize these data in a column chart, a line graph, and a map. We left off with a table of modern contraceptive use and unmet need in Eastern Africa. To visualize these data in a column chart, click the column chart icon on the top left of your screen. The column chart automatically presents the data for the first indicator listed in your table. In this case, current use of modern methods. If you would rather visualize unmet need, simply click the down arrow in the indicators box and select unmet need. For now, let's continue with current use of modern methods. The column chart helps us see the large range in modern method use across Eastern Africa, from a low of 11% in Mozambique to a high of 66% in Zimbabwe. We can also visualize the background characteristics. First, deselect total. Now select education. The column chart view helps us to confirm that use of modern methods does increase by a woman's education in many countries, but not all. Malawi, for example, shows very little variation in use of modern methods by education. The options tab in the column chart view allows you to add grid lines, the y-axis, change the scale of the y-axis, and to remove or add in the data point labels. Once you're happy with your formatted chart, you can export it as a PDF or a PNG. When you select Export, you will also get some options to customize your export, such as adjusting the font size of the text in your export. Next, we can visualize trends in these data. Before we move to trends, deselect the education background characteristic and add back in the total. Now click the line graph icon at the top left. The line graph plots modern method use across time for these Eastern African countries. We can see that, in general, use of modern methods has increased since the late 80s. By mousing over any line, you can see the exact data point and the country label. You can also add background characteristics, but it's best to do this for only one country at a time. For example, try deselecting all countries except Zimbabwe. Now add education as a background characteristic. This line graph shows us that there was a much bigger difference in modern methane use between the least and most educated women in 2005 than in 2015. You have the same formatting options here as you did for the column chart. Remember, you can also export any visualization you create as a PDF or PNG, or share through social media, email, or a link. Finally, let's visualize these data on a map of Eastern Africa. First, reselect all the countries in the list, and then click on the map icon. The default map shows us the national levels of modern method use in Eastern Africa. The legend indicates that modern method use is higher in the darker red countries and lower in the yellow countries. Clicking on a country activates a pop-up that displays the trend data for that country. You can also display the subnational data. When you click on a region, the pop-up graphs the modern method use in all of the regions of that country compared to the national total. The map also includes some customization options. You can choose to categorize the data by natural breaks, equal intervals, or quantiles. You can also choose how many categories to display, and your color scheme. The Options tab allows you to remove labels or switch to a lighter color scheme. Finally, the map is also exportable as an image, or you can export the map data, such as shapefiles or the geodatabase. The best way to get comfortable with Stack Compiler is through hands-on practice. So dig in and let Stack Compiler help you explore and visualize DHS data today. Comments or questions? Email us at stackcompiler at dhsprogram.com.